Good morning, Bach. Reporting to you from home during the COVID quarantine, I'm Nicole West. And I'm Ephraim Jacob in a remote version of our school news show. On today's show, we have deadlines for the course selection sheets and the school planner cover contest. As well as world news and fun features. We are Baca Messaway today. Away. As of this taping, the number of coronavirus cases exceeds 1,300 in Florida, surprising many people and serving as a wake-up call for some to start taking the necessary precautions, such as practicing social distancing. Let's hear from Paris about the top 10 cities in Palm Beach County with the highest toll of confirmed coronavirus cases, based on statistics from last week, to see how the numbers have risen. <music> At number 10, we have Palm Beach with 11 cases. At number 9, we have Royal Palm with 14 cases. Number 8 is Wellington with 15 cases. At number 7, Palm Beach Gardens has 26 cases. At number 6, we have Jupiter with 34 cases. Number 5 is Lake Worth with 36 cases. At number 4, we have Delray Beach with 72 cases. The third city with the most corona outbreaks is West Palm Beach with 82 cases. At number two, there is Boynton Beach with 83 cases. The Palm Beach city with the most corona outbreaks is Boca Raton with 103 cases. I'm Paris El Sharma reporting for Baca Mesa Way today. These facts are as of April 1st, 2020. I will continue updating you as they increase daily along the way. Also in rural news, Last month, Saudi Arabia inaugurated a price war with Russia, triggering a major fall in the price of oil, with U.S. oil prices falling by 34%. The price war started with a breakup in a dialogue between the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries and Russia over proposing oil production cuts amid the 2019-2020 coronavirus pandemic. Oil prices had already fallen 30% since the start of the year due to a drop in demand. The price war is one of the major factors of the current continuing global stock market crash. Due to the crowded nature of prisons, the people kept within its walls are at risk of catching COVID-19. Conflict arises questioning who should face that risk. To share your views, visit our Edmodo page and participate in a poll. Here's Eddie Colmer with more. The coronavirus pandemic has had a widespread impact on thousands of people across the globe, and those currently incarcerated in U.S. prisons are no exceptions. Out of sight but not out of mind, thousands of inmates from around the country are being released early due to the rising number of coronavirus cases reported in prisons. In the state of California, 3,500 inmates were released early and more state prisons have begun to follow suit. Lawyers working on releasing prisoners describe the procedure as thoughtful and judicial, with those who have committed violent crimes as non-eligible for early release. Aside from early releases, prisons have also shut down cell blocks if at least one sick person is found in the cells. A New York Times article calls prisons petri dishes, where disease can easily pass from person to person in shared sinks and showers, where inmates stand two feet apart at most, rather than the six feet apart rule implemented due to the coronavirus. In these times, everyone is just trying to stay safe, even if they are behind bars. I'm Eddie Colmer reporting to you for Block MSOA Today. On March 31st, 2020, British dialect coach and actor Andrew Jack passed away from COVID-19. He worked on Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, and other prominent movies. He was currently working on The Batman, which is set to air in 2021. Notable actor Mark Hamill said, quote, I'm so sorry and saddened to hear we have lost Andrew Jack. He was such a good gentleman and was deeply gifted and beloved by all who knew him." End quote. While in quarantine, people all around the globe are struggling to stay busy. 
Data from analyst Michael Olson estimates that Netflix's subscription count in the U.S. and Canada will grow to 3.8 percent from 2020 to 2021. This is probably due to the vast amount of people that turn to the screen to keep themselves entertained. With online learning coming into effect these past few weeks, students have more free time on their hands. Here is Sophia Hennessy Correa on some activities students are doing during the COVID-19 quarantine. Hello, I'm Sophia Hennessy Correa reporting for Bakum SOA Today. With the recent rise in COVID-19, most commonly known as the coronavirus, several students and staff have had to look for activities to entertain themselves. With activities ranging from baking to bike riding, there's so much for you to choose from. Now let's see what some students have been doing these past weeks. Students at Bach are finding ways to entertain themselves. Whether it's reading or relaxing or kicking it off outside with some fun in the sun, Bach students are finding ways to stay active, healthy, safe, and most of all, have fun. Some box students are playing board games and spending quality time with family members. Even though we're six feet apart, you can still have fun with friends and connect with them. Well, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to stay healthy and safe. I'm Sophia Hennessy Correa reporting for Bakum SOA today. Thank you, Sophia. I will consider trying some of these activities out. School sites are closed until further notice, while students and staff continue with distance learning. Now, to Hayden Kenny explaining how we can make our morning routines consistent. In school news, course selection sheets were mailed to 6th and 7th graders last week. Students, this is your opportunity to choose classes for next year. Mail course selection sheets and statement of commitment forms in the self-addressed, stamped envelope that Bach provided. If you cannot meet the due date of April 9th, don't worry. You should get your forms in the mail as soon as you can. Email guidance counselor Kathy Tyler with questions. She's not accepting scanned copies over email, just the originals mailed in. The annual Bach Planner Design Contest allows students to have their design on the cover of next year's planner. All the de designs should have originality and created solely by the student who is submitting. The design cannot exceed 8 by 10 and it should appear in a PDF format. The design must encompass the spirit of Bach and the colors that are required are black and or blue ink on a white background or white and or blue ink on a black background. Creating items are not only a way to pass the time, but to adopt as well. Here is reporter Nicole Webb with more. First, add two tablespoons of dish soap to two cups of water. Then, pour in one fourth of a teaspoon or roughly 15 drops of any given essential oil. Stir until the mixture is fully incorporated. Next, 
Pour the all-purpose cleaner into a spray bottle. To show the importance of soap when washing hands or other things, I rubbed olive oil onto my counter. This is meant to simulate the membrane of the coronavirus and other viruses that are made up of fat. Water and fats do not mix, which is why I first attempted to clean the oil off with just water, further proving that water on its own cannot break down fats and oils, therefore leaving the counter greasy. Soap, however, is made to directly attack those fats, leaving my counter squeaky clean. This goes to show that soap is an extremely important factor in keeping clean and staying healthy. If you're looking to make something tasty, how about the classic cream brulee? Here's Anna Schulman with an easy recipe to show you how to bake the dessert. Hi, I'm Anna Schulman, and in this feature, I'll be showing you how to make creme brulee, a super simple and delicious treat to enjoy. Let's check it out. Start with two cups of heavy whipping cream and add one teaspoon of vanilla. Heat the mixture until it's hot, but not boiling. In a separate bowl, add three egg yolks and a fourth of a cup of sugar. Whisk until it's well mixed. Pour the heavy cream mixture in gradually and continue to mix. After you have combined all of the heavy cream mixture, take off the top layer of foam Next, pour hot water into the pans, coming about halfway up the ramekins. Pour the egg mixture into the ramekins. Place in the oven at 325 degrees for 45 minutes. Take the pan out of the oven and allow it to cool until it reaches room temperature. Once they've reached room temperature, cover them with saran wrap. Then place them in the fridge for two hours to cool. After they've chilled for two hours, take them out of the fridge, unwrap the saran wrap, and let them sit for 10 minutes. Next, sprinkle some sugar on top. Then place them on the tray and get ready to broil. Once they finish broiling, let them sit for a few minutes and then enjoy. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this delightful treat. We have this Friday off from online learning for a district holiday. Enjoy your weekend and we'll see you next week. Well, that's all we have for you today. Signing off from home, I'm Ephraim Jacob. And I'm Nicole Webb. Baka mess away today, away. You miss a day? You miss a lot. <laughs>